Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. And today we're showing some love to the Atari 2600, and we're gonna do another homebrew. We did a Load Runner, a demo that was just recently released at Atari. I'm sorry, yeah, Atari Age, and um, we're gonna do another homebrew. This one has not been released. This is a demo version of Turbo. From Champ Games, it has not been released. I don't think it's been updated as far as a, a new demo version, um, uh, updated, released in a while. I did a video on this a while back. I have not um, done a video in this in a in a while, and I have not played this in a while. And uh, I, I kind of was uh, kind of going through of some what I should do. And I thought, man, this would be kind of a cool one to do. So uh, without further ado, I'm, I'm going to do this one. We're just going to play through this one. Um, I never played Turbo in the arcade. And I didn't have Turbo, the original Turbo for the uh, 2600 back in the day. Um, but this one is a pretty good... Uh, uh, racing game for the 2600 so we're going to play with this one and have some fun so without further ado let's have some fun um, if you are watching this make sure you have your uh, playback at at least 60 frames per second reason is is because um, of there might be some flickering um, it's it's not shown in the gameplay that i'm seeing but sometimes in the game capture uh, it does uh, show with what you're actually seeing. So uh, let's do this. Okay. on it. I'm going to get better. I haven't pulled this out in so long. I'm not doing well the first round. I know that. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's all right. We're going to continue on. We're going to continue on. Game over. That's all right. Um, now, uh, hold on a second. Let me let me do something real quick. I'm going to... I think I'm at the Champ... No, I'm not. I am at the Champ Games website. Let me go to the Games and Development real quick and click on the... T Let's see. There's three game levels trying to think there aren't really game instructions here I can't remember I know that in the uh, once the game is released there's going to be um, 99 rounds I can't even make it one <laughs> yet it's going to happen um, you'll save your high score with uh, audio vox and save key support it's a 64K ROM. That is huge for a uh, um, Atari. It's Quat Quatari supported. How? 
four player. Oh, Quatari adapter that allows for dual play with high score saves. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to try this again, guys. Um, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Let me pull the... I want to see how the live stream goes as far as uh, chats and whatnot. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Thanks for coming back, man. <laughs> I didn't do too good the first time, but we're going to... Keep practicing. Almost got it. Dog on it. Ah. Now it's Man, come on. Came up on me all of a sudden. Didn't make it. Oh man, how far did I get? I can't, I didn't see. Um, I got closer that time. I passed 27. How many do I have to do? I don't know. Obviously, more than 27. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. How'd you like the uh, game cartridge I made there? See the picture there with the game cartridge? I, I designed that. <laughs> yeah, there's not one yet, so I made one. <laughs> I had to have something to display so you guys could kind of see what I'm playing. I want to get over to the left, but I couldn't do it quick enough. Come on, people. there ah no oh, I made it yeah, enduro on steroids. I agree, man. 
Enduro was my jam back in the day. I probably should have put a disclaimer if you have epilepsy, this probably isn't a good game to watch. Are you serious? These crashes. I haven't heard the ambulance in a while. Ah, oh, man. I hate these curves. Oh, here comes one. Oh, game over. Well, like my dad always said, winning isn't everything, but losing's nothing. <laughs> You get to put your initials in on a demo? What? Well, I'm going the wrong way. Retro Bliss Gaming. Yeah, um, the graphics are incredible for a 2600 game. Um, I was mentioning in the outset, I went to the uh, Champ Games website. Let me go back to it here real quick. It says on there, <clears throat> this is a... Uh, oh, a second. I know I saw this. 64K cart. I want you to think about that a minute because back in the day, uh, the initial cartridges that first came out were only 2K, and then they were doubled to 4K, which is a big deal back then. And then, like late in the life of the cartridge, they kind of started getting into the 8K, but they were few and far between. Um, so 64 K that's, that's big. And there's also some kind of bank switching going on. I'm not exactly sure what that means. John Champo does obviously. Um, he's, 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 he's amazing, man. I'll tell you what, um, I'm just so thrilled, uh, to have him in the homebrew community, putting these games out. Um, he keeps cranking them out too, man. I tell you what, um, as of right now, I, I think I have all but two of his homebrews. Um, and the only ones that I don't have are Avalanche, which are, um, it's kind of, eh. I actually have the, uh, the ROM of that. I don't have the, the cartridge. I do have the ROM of that. And then uh, Zookeeper, I do want to get that. I meant to order that when I ordered this last batch, and I, for some, for some reason, I admitted that I'm going to get that one too. But uh, Turbo's coming out, 
and then it's coming out supposed to come out this year and then another one called elevator agent or um yeah agent i'm getting that too that's that looks really fun so let's play this one some more let's let's do it let me let me pull up my uh, stream i want to see uh, how how things are going so uh appreciate you guys being here watching uh while you're here sub man subscribe to the channel let's do this I don't know. I don't know if Avalanche uh, inspired Kaboom, but it's very similar in nature. Yeah, I don't know if it, which came first. I really don't. I'm not sure about that. Excuse me. But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a paddle game, and I do like it. It's good, and I probably end up getting it. Just to, just to support the homebrew community, you know, but, um, and to say that I have all of John's games, uh, John, John's amazing, so, why not, you know? Ah, if you let up on the gas, you slow down so quickly that those cars behind you, they just run right into you, man. I mean, you don't, you have no shot. You just don't, and these curves, you can't, oh, come on. I'm on a racetrack, dude. I'm... Ah, almost got me. Oh, see, he came right into me. Did you see that? Dirty dog. Ah. Oh, yeah. I imagine if Avalanche was there before Kaboom, that it was inspired. Uh, Kaboom was inspired by Avalanche. Yeah, I, I, I'd say so, uh, Darren. I'd have to check the history, but yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, come on. Like I said, you let, let off on that gas, man. They come right behind you so fast. Ah! I couldn't steer fast enough to get away. Frustrate. Oh. Came right into me. Oh. Ah. 
Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Not in Ham UK is in the house. Thanks, Darren, for coming by, man. Appreciate it. Come by and see us again. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, we're on our way to a thousand subs. We're on our way there, buddy. All right, see you around, bud. Thanks again. Hey, Jay. Yep. Thanks, man. I had fun making them. I have a. Um, I used to have a logo design business. Uh, so uh, yeah, I have fun making graphics. So it's pretty cool. Let's do this again. Let's have some more fun with this. Hey, awesome. Thanks, Jay or Darren. On these curves, you just gotta maintain a certain speed so that you're not going too slow to have the people behind you um, run into you, but yet, you're not running to the people in front of you either. Ah, doggone it. I hate those. I hate when they crash like that, too. It looks like. Oh, come on. Looks like a broken snowball or something. What? I don't, how did that happen? So now I'm confused. Do I get the do I have to uh, maintain that or In other words, do I lose them if I Oh, oh someone just hit 666. Sorry, bro. Game over. Let me see how many I got, man. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I got to do something real quick.
Oh. I'm sorry. I thought I was at, at that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's keep going. All right. Let, how long have we been doing this? Uh, we've been at about a half hour. We're going to, we're going to continue on. This is uh this is pretty fun. Um, it'll be more clear what, what, um, how to continue on from level to level to level. And what the objective of the game is once I get the manual. I know sometimes, honestly, you guys uh, really want to be part of this channel. And I'll tell you why. When I, do, when I do these homebrew games, when I do these homebrew games, especially um, with game select games and with uh, games from Champ Games, um, the guys who code these games... Uh, Ricardo Pim from Game Select and John Champo from Champ Games. Sometimes they get on here when I do these when I do these streams, and they do um, they do explanations of how I should play these games. They do walkthroughs and talkthroughs as I'm playing these games. So not only am I learning as I'm playing these games as they talk to me. Um, the people that are watching learn as well. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, a, a, a benefit to be part of the channel. So, um, you know, uh, you might want to consider subscribing if you haven't done so. So, uh, let's continue on. Let's have some more fun. Ah, right then, too. Ah. Ah. Seriously, people? So I do have to maintain Ah, see, you can't be too slow on them curves cuz they will run into you, man. Psychedelic, man. Ah, dog on it. Now, I, I don't understand why when you start, you have that group of cars with you, too. That's a little confusing to me. Doggone it.
Please, baby, baby, please don't. Now, I have passed the proper number of cars, so I guess you have a certain number of lives. You have a certain number of lives, and then you have a number of a certain number of cars. So I guess there's that combination between the two. You have to maintain both. I figured out once we uh, once we get the game and and one we get it in hand we get the instructions we get the practice in um, yeah all right let's go see if we can do this without getting killed. Yeah, because there's, there's a number of cars up top there. people So it looks like the first round you don't get killed. Seems like I maintain my life. Okay, I have three men. Ah. Now I have two. Yep. See, after that first round, you you can lose a life. Now I have one. Okay, now I kind of sort of understand what's going on here to an extent. Dang it. Oh. See, I didn't even see what happened there. <laughs> You know the graphics looking looking back when you're when you step when you step back and you look watch somebody else play this game the graphics this is a 2600 uh, game they look amazing they really do so now that I I got a handle on this game we're gonna play it at least one more time maybe more I don't know but we just wanted to have some fun with this so let's let's do it again. I might get better, I don't know.
Ah! dog. kind of cool because you got that hill perspective too you know Dang it. This is bad. Well, this is even worse. Ah! Oh, I still have another car. For some reason, I thought that was my last one. I made it. these things. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh, man. <laughs> well, not bad. Well, we had fun. There you go. Turbo Arcade for the Atari 2600 is still in development, technically. It's uh, expected to be released uh, late this year. That's uh, the, the target date. Um, we don't know um for sure but that's the target date i know that i'll be uh uh, uh eagerly awaiting that so uh, appreciate you guys watching please 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 sub to my channel i'm expecting and uh we are well on our way 
to getting a thousand subs. We're gonna get there soon. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be um, streaming here uh, probably. I think I yeah. In about a half hour, I'm going to be uh, streaming about. Let's see. I got three uh, 7800 games. We're going to be doing Dig Dug, Pole Position Two, and uh, Hat Trick. 7800 Atari games. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.